Hey everybody, it's Rosie from iHeartRecipes.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make my candy yams in the Instant Pot. This recipe itself will be extremely similar to the one that I already have up. I have so many of them. So I have one in the slow cooker, two in the oven. So I have my soul food style candy yams, which everyone seems to love. I also have the baked yams with the marshmallows, and I have stove top, okay? So it's just about time, or should I say, it's only right that I make it in my Instant Pot. So, what we're going to need is these yams. And I use the red flesh ones. I think they're called garnet yams in the store. Um, and I'm just going to use, what do we have here? Five. I have about five medium size. I'll say medium size uh, yams. So what we're going to start off doing is we're going to peel them. Let me move these out of the way. One just fell off. That's okay. This is really easy, y'all. So, you know, during the holidays, you're going to have that turkey in the oven or on the stove or on the uh, grill. Y'all, did you see my smoked turkey? Make sure you watch the video. But anyway, the oven is going to be occupied, okay? You have a lot of things that you are going to be putting in that oven. The slow cooker is probably going to be occupied too, as well as the stove top. I mean, come on. You got the greens, the green beans, you got the ham hocks, everything, y'all. So, Let's put our Instant Pots to use this year. And I'll have some more Instant Pot, uh, you know, holiday recipes coming up, but we are definitely starting off with this one. But it's so easy to use, you know, Instant Pot, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you have a different brand, you can, you know, use whatever pressure cooker you have. And the ingredients that I am using for this recipe can be found at your local grocery store. Now, if it's hard for you to find, I'm, I will be using ground ginger, and I also will be using uh, ground clove. I actually usually get those from my Dollar Tree. If you cannot find it there, just go to your local grocery store and ask someone there to help you locate them. They should definitely be in the uh, baking aisle. Ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg will be used as well, but those are really easy to find. And vanilla. Now, previously, in most of my videos, I always tell you guys to use uh, pure vanilla extract. However, I am aware that not everybody wants to pay that much because the price has went up for vanilla extract so if you want to use imitation go ahead and do so you know i don't want you guys trying to break your bank trying to use specific ingredients if that's cheaper for you and you know more affordable i want you to do that okay so that's your pass okay so what i'm gonna do now since we peeled them actually i think i can peel it a little better on some of these Okay, so now we are going to chop the yams. I never really use the little pointy end parts, but if you want to, you can. So I'm just going to cut them. Nothing special. Just little pieces like this. And try to make sure, or try to uh, cut them in even, or you know, try to cut them in even pieces so everything cooks evenly. And once I'm done cutting them, I'm going to place them in my strainer because we will need to rinse them. Okay. But yeah, I love yams, but y'all probably know that already because I have so many yam recipes and I make yams different ways. I have one, well I have this one that I'm making now and I have, sometimes I like to make it with marshmallows, sometimes. I don't like to add ginger. It really depends on the occasion. Like, but during the holidays, I love to add clove and ginger. And sometimes I like to make a syrup with pineapple juice. So if you all are interested in the brown sugar pineapple yams, let me know down below in the comment section and I will try my best to upload that one as well. So, just toss this over here. But like I was saying, yams are definitely my favorite holiday side dish. Well, one of my favorites. I love a lot of different things, but yams is definitely top three. What's your all's favorite side dish? Do you have a favorite side dish? Like, what is a side dish that your mama or your grandmama makes during the holidays that you must have every year? Now, if I have to think of something that my mom made every holiday, that I had to have, it would have to be cornbread dressing because my mom didn't make yams and I think that's why I like to
to make yams all the time and why I like it so much. But my aunt Bishop used to make, and she still does, she makes good old yams when I was a little boy. I haven't had her yams in a while, but I'm sure they're still banging. We cut up all the yams, and now what we need to do is rinse them. We want these nice and clean before we toss them in the pot. And yeah, let me go clean these yams, and I will be right back. Okay, so let's talk about my Instant Pot that I have. A lot of people always ask, what kind of Instant Pot do you have? I have this one, <laughs> if you guys can see. So this is just the regular old Instant Pot. I have a six quart. Okay, so we have this. I'm just going to start tossing these in. Put them all in. Let me stop being fancy. I'm just going to throw it in like that. Put this to the side so we have all the yams in there. Load it up. So the first thing we want to do is add butter. I'm using salted butter, but if you want to use, let me move this to the side so y'all can see. If you want to use um, unsalted, you can. I just like a little hint of salty to my yams. I don't always use salted butter, but it is my preference. So, I'm just gonna toss this in here. Okay. And now I'm going to add in a nice amount of vanilla extract. Remember, if you don't wanna spend all that money on, you know, pure vanilla extract, you can use imitation. I don't want y'all breaking the bake just to make one of my recipes, okay? So, so I'm using clear vanilla, but you can use dark vanilla. It doesn't matter, you just want that taste. I put our vanilla in there, and then I'm going to start adding in a mixture of clove and ground ginger. If you're not a fan of either, you can skip out on those, but I love it. Like, yeah, I love it. So, we have our butter, clove, ginger, and vanilla in here. Now we're going to start adding in our cinnamon. Actually, I'm gonna add the nutmeg first. Ground nutmeg. This is a brand new one. I don't wanna open up a brand new one. It's a big one too. Let me see. I think I found my other nutmeg. I did. Good, I didn't have to open up a new one. Okay, so. Ooh. Okay. Don't forget the exact measures for this recipe can be found on my blog, iheartrecipes.com. So make sure that you do go there to print it out, okay? And don't wait till the last minute, y'all. Give this recipe a couple of runs before the holidays. Make sure you like it made in the Instant Pot. You might like it in the slow cooker. You might like it on the stove top. You might like it baked better. So make sure you give each recipe a try, a test run, before the actual holidays, okay? So I'm going to add in our nutmeg. I love nutmeg. Whenever. Like most of the time, if you see me add cinnamon, please believe there will be nutmeg as well. And now I'm going to add my cinnamon. I have so much cinnamon. I like to be, I'm like really heavy with the cinnamon. If you want to use less, you can, but no, I'm not going to. I'm, I love my cinnamon. Okay. So we have those ingredients in there. Now we're going to start adding in our sugars. So I'm going to use white sugar and brown sugar, one sec. This recipe does have a lot of sugar. So if you freak out with the amounts of sugar that I'm using, this recipe is not for you. So white sugar, I don't use, uh, what is it? I don't use corn syrup nor maple. I think the combination that I use is just fine. I don't think it needs anything else. Y'all go ahead and test it and let me know what y'all think, but I don't think it needs all that. Now, if you want a nice, thick syrup, I personally, um, I'm cool. I don't need it too thick, but if you want a nice, thick syrup, I'll leave on my blog how much cornstarch to add to this mixture. I'm not going to add any because I don't want any. <laughs> so you just want to mix everything. I'm just using a regular spoon. Try not to scratch it inside of my Instant Pot. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same bowl that I have my clove and ginger in, and I'm going to add a little water in here, okay? So let's pour in that water. Let me close that. That irritates me. I don't know why. I'm like always leaving those open. Okay. I think we're good to go. So let me grab my Instant Pot. First, I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to 
put this in here. Okay, so I'll plug it up now. We're gonna put the lid on. And I wanna make sure that it is in the middle, okay? You don't want it to be on the vent. Make sure it's in the middle. Make sure everything is nice and secure. And now, since we know it is, we are going to turn this on and I'm just going to let it cook for 15 minutes. That's it. Okay, so it's been cooking for, we did 15 minutes, right? Yeah. So now we're going to check inside. And these are super tender, like falling apart. So I gotta be careful when I take it out. Let me just kind of toss it to your way. You can see it. But yeah, let me, um, first I'm gonna turn this off and unplug it. And then we are going to place it in a serving dish. So one second. So I gotta be real careful, because like I said, they are pretty much falling apart. If you don't like this to fall apart, you can cook it for less time. But I actually like mine like this. It smells so good, y'all. You can smell the clove and the ginger, the cinnamon. It smells so bomb. But I'm just gonna pour the syrup and the remaining pieces. Like I said, a lot of it. So bomb, it literally melted in my mouth. Like it's bomb. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm bomb. So, needless to say, I will be making my yams in the Instapot this year, bomb, okay? Make sure you head over to my blog, iheartrecipes.com for the exact measurements. You can print it out from there. Also be sure to check out my previous videos that I shared. I have rice dressing, cornbread dressing, and I also have a smoked turkey that will go amazing with this, okay? And if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe and turn on those notifications. And I'm also on Instagram as well as Facebook. I do Instagram lives and I take requests. We pretty much kind of like vote on the you know recipes I need to do. So make sure you all follow me on Instagram so you can catch me on Instagram live. I thank you all for watching and I will see you soon.